Good afternoon, everyone. I am Mr. Davidson. I'm the principal of the Freshman Academy at Danbury High School. And thank you all for joining us today to talk a little bit about Danbury High School. I have a few people that I really want to introduce to you. Let me share my screen so that you can see them while I introduce them. I have Mrs. Ondek with me, school counselor at Danbury High School. I have Ms. Harris, another school counselor at Danbury High School. Uh oh. Sorry about that. Ms. Rodriguez is another one of our counselors. She's out right now, but Ms. Isaac is filling in for her. Ms. Carlson is our director of school counseling. And we have Dr. Roy, who is our early college opportunity director. All right. So let's get this show on the road. I think I'm sharing my screen. This. Okay, I think we're good. So you guys are the class of 2025, which is pretty exciting. It makes me feel old because each year I say the same thing and each year that number continues to get higher. So welcome incoming class of 2025 to your ninth grade year at Danbury High. What are we gonna talk about today? I wanna talk about kind of um, what is the Freshman Academy? What's the registration process to get you know, going freshman year, what does that look like? What supports we have available? What extensions we have available for you? Dr. Roy is gonna talk quickly about the uh, Derek Tamron Early College Opportunity, which is our DECO program. And then kind of what's next going forward after you log off today. Uh, throughout the presentation, if you have questions, you can take your phone and you can scan that QR code and you'll be able to get to the form to ask us a question. At the end of the presentation, I will go to my computer and I will read all the questions that you guys answered and hopefully answer any questions you may have. I have a couple, um, couple questions that the other schools answered that hopefully you guys will touch on. If not, I'll circle back and answer those too. But if you scan that with your phone, it'll open up that, that um, QR code will open up the form so you can answer that question. So the Freshman Academy. Our Freshman Academy is our transition program into ninth grade. We found that it's really hard to go from middle school to high school without something kind of in the middle. And that's what our Freshman Academy is. Um, we have a teamed approach similar to what you have in middle school. So your academic core teachers will meet to discuss you, other kids in your team, what they're doing as a team so that they can all stay on the same page and support you the best they can. Um, we have additional supports only offered to freshmen. Our teachers have common planning time. Uh, we have eight teams in the Freshman Academy. Uh, you're able to take college prep or honors courses, and I'll explain what that means in a little bit. And our counselors are specially trained to help you through the transition process. Um, they understand what it takes to go from eighth grade to ninth grade, and they understand what it takes to be successful going forward. So they have special skills to help you out in that area. Uh, we just opened up a brand new freshman academy, which was pretty cool. Uh, we had 26 classrooms, new science labs, gym, locker room, there's AC. We call that our G building. It's a really nice space. The majority of freshmen um, will have three quarters of their classes in the new building. And some will actually have all of their core classes in the, in the new building, but everyone is at least getting an experience over there in some capacity. Most of the core classes, like I said, will be in the new building. And if you take electives, those classes will probably not be in the new building, unless you take a health class, a couple of those are in there too. Um, so what do you need to know about Danbury High School? Well, it's a little different than, than middle school because we have a prescribed um, set of courses that you have to take in order to graduate. Everyone at Danbury High School has to take four English credits, three and a half social studies, four math, three science. Um, you have to satisfy all of those areas in order to, to move out of Danbury High School and graduate. You could have A averages across the board. You can do awesome. You can fill your schedule, but if you don't take one of these things, then you're not going to, you're not going to graduate. So if you miss a health credit, you could have hundreds across the board and everything, but you're not going to graduate because you didn't take health. So you have to satisfy each one of these credits going through your four years of high school. So you may say, wow, Mr. Davidson, I'm kind of scared. Don't worry. We have counselors that are going to help you register for those classes to make sure that you have everything you need in order to graduate on time. Um, and the good thing about it is freshman year, there's not a ton of decisions to make. You will need to make some decisions whether you take honors classes or college prep level classes. 
So whatever you choose in English, you also have to choose in social studies, which is our world studies course. And whatever you choose in math, you have to choose the same level in biology. You can choose honors in English and social studies and college prep in math and science. But those two inside of this little box I have here, the, the, the blue box, bluish gray box and the orange box, those have to be the same. And that allows us to keep our, our um, teams in place so that we have enough classes to offer each team and our, and our teachers you know, don't have crazy, crazy numbers of kids in their classes. Um, freshman year, you also have, if, if you need the support, you're gonna be taking a, a reading and a, or a math lab course. If you don't need that support, that won't be in your schedule. We recommend that all freshmen take health and phys ed. And you have some electives that are available to you, not all the electives in school, but a lot of them. Everyone always asks, what's the difference between honors and college prep? Well, college prep, what you learn is going to prepare you for college. So we're gonna teach you the skills and the content necessary to go on to college if you so choose to do so. Honors classes, you're gonna learn the same things, but you're gonna be asked to go deeper. You're gonna to ask to do more and you're gonna have a heavier workload. Oftentimes we ask you to do more outside of the classroom in our honors classes. So that's something to think about. Talk to your teachers, talk to your counselor, talk to your parents and decide when you register if college prep classes or honors classes are the best place for you to start. And one of the good things about Danbury High is we don't lock you into that for the rest of your career. We don't even lock you into that for the rest of the year. So during the first 10 days of the school year, you can choose to change. So if you're in a college prep class and you say, I really want to challenge myself some more, switch to an honors class. And if you're in an honors class and you decide, wow, this is really a little too challenging for me, you can make an adjustment and go to the college prep version of that class as well. Um, and whatever you take freshman year, you don't have to stay in there for, for sophomore, junior, senior year. We let you choose whichever level you want to take, you know, given the information that you have. So you're not locked into one track. You don't have to take the same level all the way through, through high school. Uh, the electives you get to take, um, we have them in just about every area. Anything you could be interested in, I think we have a class for you at Danbury High School. Some of them aren't open yet until you become an upperclassman, but we have a ton open just for freshmen. Um, we have one AP course that's open, um, AP Computer Science Principles. Um, when you take that course, you know, you learn about computer science, and then as you move on, you can, you can go take more AP classes as you become a sophomore, a junior, and a senior. But we have just about every elective available to freshmen as well. So a sample schedule. We have a block schedule at Danbury High. We have A days, we have B days. And you'll see block one, two, and three. Those classes alternate from A day to B day, but that fourth block stays the same. So you'll see fourth block personal finance. Our fourth block meets every single day, whether it's A day or B day, and it's shorter than the other ones. Um, so we have, you can take up to seven classes. So blocks one, two, and three for A day and B day. So there's six plus that fourth block, um, which, which is that seventh class that you can take in Denver High. Um, if you're curious about what courses we have to offer, because I know I flashed them up on the screen really, really quick, go to our course of study guide. It's right on our website, under students course guide, and you can choose one of our three different language versions of that course guide. So you can read about different classes you might want to take. So you're ready to request those classes. Now, when the registration window opens, you'll go into PowerSchool, type your name in, and you'll click on the little uh, class registration button. Now, the classes you choose are not necessarily the classes you're gonna get in all cases. So you may choose, you know what, I really wanna take American Sign Language. Awesome, it counts as a world language credit, but maybe it's, there's no room in that class. Maybe you'll have to wait till sophomore year to take that. I guarantee whatever core classes you take, English, Math, Science, Social Studies will get you into. I can't guarantee all the electives that you choose will be on your schedule when, when you get it in the, in the summer. But um, you'll go through and you'll pick whichever classes you wanna take. English, social studies, math, science, remembering to choose either honors, honors or college prep for those classes. Once you select all those, click OK. I'm sure you've done this before, so it looks kind of familiar. You do the same thing with your electives. And then we'll get all of those course requests and we'll build a schedule. We'll say, wow, we need seven sections of engineering or we need 15 sections of guitar because everyone wants to take guitar. And we'll build our schedule using you know, the teachers we have and the requests that we get to hopefully satisfy as many of those requests as possible. Academic supports. I think it's important to, to talk a little bit about what do you do if the transition to high school isn't as smooth as you thought it was gonna be? What if you struggle a little bit? That's okay. 
um, freshman year is so important to get you through that we have some additional um, supports embedded in there so that we can help you. Uh, the first one is, is our READ 180 class, uh, followed up with our MAP 180 class. Um, those are intensive uh, support classes to help you increase your skills in reading and mathematics if you need them. We have flex time, which I think is one of the coolest things about Danbury High uh, that we added a couple years ago. Flex time, everyone on Monday, they go and decide what they want to do for the rest of the week during flex. It may be you have a test coming up, so you want to meet with that teacher to get an extra study time. It may be um, you missed a class last week and you missed an assignment, so you want to meet with the teacher and work on that assignment, so you schedule them during flex time. Um, it could be you don't have anything to work on, so you want to go down and do yoga in the new gym. Whatever it may be, there's something for you in flex. So flex time is really a time where, where you can use it and utilize it for what you need, whether it's supports, whether it's extensions, whether it's just a check-in with a teacher, but you dictate what you want to do during that flex time. So students on Monday will schedule what they're doing in flex for the rest of the week to, to make sure that they're, you know, where they need to be academically and, and even with extensions as well. Uh, we have directed study hall. Uh, if a regular study hall is not, is not the best setting for you, we have directed ones up with me in the level four office. Uh, we have an after school tutoring program. We have a twilight program. If you don't do well in the first semester of a course, we allow you to retake that course after school so that you can have the right number of credits to move on to sophomore year. We have a credit recovery program. Um, you'll work through recovering credit kind of at your own pace. And we have a pretty intensive SRBI intervention process to help support students in all of the classes. So what if you don't need any support? You come to Denver High, you're ready to go. Um, things come fairly easy for you. Well, then I challenge you to, to challenge yourself. We have extensions available. We have 26 AP courses that we, that we offer. 21% um, of our kids do take AP classes, and those AP classes equal college credits in the future. So if you transfer your grades from an AP course when you enroll in college, oftentimes, and most of the time, um, colleges will give you college credits. So you'll be three or four or five or six or however many you transfer closer to graduating college because you took classes in, in high school, which is pretty cool. Um, Flex allows, like I said, for extensions or enrichment. So if it's something that you're interested in that's outside of the curriculum and a teacher's offering a flex session in that area, go ahead, challenge yourself there. Um, our DECO opportunities is a great extension to, to challenge yourself outside of the four core academic areas. We have honor societies that students can join. We have an accelerated summer course program. If you wanted to take geometry over the summer, you certainly could, and we have opportunities to do that. Our CONCAP Upward Bound program, we have tons and tons of athletics, clubs, and at the end of the day, I challenge students to become more than just students at Danbury High School. You don't have to join a club. You don't have to be involved in, in athletics. But I think it's a great way to get as much as you can out of your high school experience. So I challenge everybody, don't just come here and, and, and be a student. Don't just come here and take classes. Be more than that. Get involved as much as you can. Um, a great way to, to get the most out of your high school experience. Uh, Dr. Roy is going to talk a little bit about the Danbury Early College Opportunity. Dr. Roy. Hi, everyone. So the Danbury Early College Opportunity is an experience at Danbury High School where you are able to work on an associate degree in computer information sciences while you're working on your Danbury High School requirements. And so um, you're duly enrolled at Naugatuck Valley Community College and Danbury High School. So you might think, wow, that's a lot. It is a lot, um, but we make it work by being able to offer you classes for the college right during the school day at the high school. We can offer them after school. We offer them during the summer. Um, so it's really a great way to kind of push yourself. And we have all kinds of students who apply for um, the DECO program. It's not necessarily, you know, you don't have to necessarily be somebody who gets straight A's all the time or anything. We, we do have a wide variety of students and we just offer a bunch of different supports to help people be successful. It's a great way to earn college credits, again, while you're in high school or to see if college is going to be the right um, next step for you. So for our freshmen, um, what you would need to do is Right now, actually starting March 8th, you will be able to apply via a lottery. So it's an online lottery system on the DECA website. We'll put it up on the Danbury High School website as well. Um, we, take, we can take up to 60 students in the program. And then what happens is for your freshman year, um, we would have one of your elective spots taken up um, with a class called workplace learning. And during that workplace learning class, you're learning how to be a professional 
um, you're learning the soft skills, we call them, of business, which is writing resumes and formal emails and letters. And you can see here um, in this particular picture that Mr. Davidson's showing, um, these students are all receiving certificates from Naugatuck Valley Community College or an associate degree from Naugatuck Valley Community College. Um, in this case, I think we, we had different levels where the students were getting upwards of 30 or more college credits while they were at the high school. So it's a really cool opportunity. We have mentors that come in from a variety of different industries within Danbury, and they come in and they uh, talk to students. They do whole, whole class presentations. Um, we have Ment we have had matched kids up one-to-one -one with mentors in the industry. It really just depends on um, what you're looking for uh, in a mentor. And then we also have students go out and do internships uh, with different industries in, in um, Danbury. So it's a really cool experience. The first thing we typically do, and uh, last summer we weren't able to do it because of COVID, but typically invite students to come into Danbury High School three days um, during August to kind of get to know the building. We do some team building. We get to play some fun games, um, follow your schedule, those kinds of things, just as a way to kind of ease the transition into high school. So what you need to do is check out the Danbury uh, Early College Opportunity website. And... Um, you can see different classes that you might want to take through the DECO program and apply via lottery. And I will let you know um, mid-March, mid to end of March, whether or not you're accepted into the program. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and uh, you can leave me a message or shoot me an uh, email. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Dr. Roy. So what does that mean for you guys um, going forward? Our registration schedule from here on out is we, we've been to Westside, we've been to Broadview, and we've been to Rogers Park. Um, from, from here, the next big thing is 3-1. That is our school fair. Um, that's an opportunity for you as freshmen to come and learn about all aspects of Danbury High School. Maybe not just me uh, here talking to you about being a freshman, but learning about clubs, learning about sports, learning about the different organizations, all the things that are offered at Danbury High. And, and right when that's over, we'll open the registration window for you to start picking classes or requesting classes so we can build your schedule in the fall. Um, we'll talk to the private school students coming in on 315. And that registration window is, is open almost to the end of March, right around when, when Dr. Roy will get back to you about, about the DECO program. So the first one's done. If you have questions, and you probably will, and, and I don't answer them today, or you forget to ask them today, reach out to us. Um, these emails and, and phone numbers are all on our website. You can ask your counselor for help and they can get you in contact with us. Um, but, but reach out, don't, don't leave an answer because you think ah, it's not important or, or that, you know, it's a silly question, whatever it may be, ask us. I want you to feel as comfortable as possible coming to Danbury High, right? So you guys have actually done an awesome job asking questions more than any other middle school. So nice job. Um, so I'm gonna jump to some questions. The first one we have, uh, what kind of specials do you have? We don't really have specials. We have what are called electives. So you can take an elective in all those areas I showed you, business, um, family consumer science, art, music, um, all those different areas are electives are kind of like specials, but we don't make you take, you know, not everyone has to take gym and health and all those things that you may, or music, whatever you may have taken in middle school or elementary school as a special. We let you choose your, or request the electives you want in your schedule. Um, the next question, should I be nervous? Absolutely not. Um, I think you should be excited. It's a really good opportunity to come here and, and, and see what Danbury High is all about. And, uh, um, our kids do some fantastic things, and I imagine you guys are going to be the next group of kids that do fantastic things. So don't be nervous. Be excited. Um, do you have to join a club in high school? No, you definitely don't. You can be as involved or not involved as you want, but I feel you're going to get more out of the experience the more involved you are. What sports can freshmen into their first year? We have a freshman version of just about every sport at Denver High. So football, baseball, basketball, cheerleading, lacrosse, um, field hockey, they all have freshman versions of those teams. So you have an opportunity to compete against other freshmen from other schools and interact with other freshmen at Danbury High School. If the skill level is not appropriate, maybe you should be playing varsity, I assure you your coach will move you up and you'll get to play a little bit of varsity time as well. Um, but we have sports in just about every area available to, to students that come in. Next up, what classes will I get to take and pick? Awesome, awesome question. Um, you'll be able to take your four core classes that you, that you request. English, math, science, social studies, I promise you I'll get you those. 
Um, the electives, the way it works is all students at Danbury High request a class or the classes they want to take. And then when we build the schedule, we look at what the seniors want, and we fill them into the classes, and then we look at what the juniors want and the sophomores, and then we look at the freshmen. So it's not guaranteed that you'll get the classes that you want, but we usually do a pretty good job of getting classes that people want to be in to fit into their schedule. Um, so you'll see once we make that all work, we'll send out schedules usually in, in early August, and you'll see you know, what classes you're going to take. It may not show you which block you have them, but it'll show you which classes you, you requested and are registered for. Um, what's next? Is it going to be a lot different for, from what we do now? Yes and no. I think it's, it's, it's going to be different in, it's high school now, so we expect more out of our students, um, but you're still going to be a part of the Danbury Public Schools community, so it's going to be the same in that capacity. We do ask you to do things differently, which is okay, and we do ask you just to, you know, do more as you, as you grow up and become more responsible, but I don't think it's going to be like mind-blowingly different than what you have in middle school. Probably one of the biggest differences is if you're in middle school and you don't do well in your math class in seventh grade, you're still going to go to eighth grade most of the time. Um, at Danbury High, it's not, it's not like that. So if you don't pass algebra one or algebra two or whatever math class you're in, you're taking that class again next year. So if you don't pass algebra one, you don't get to go take algebra two because you didn't pass algebra one. You'll have to take that again next year. So it's really, really important that you work hard and pass all those classes so that you can graduate on time. Um, what is the school's dress code? Oh, we ask you to dress appropriately. Uh, I don't need to see, you know, your midsection and, and, and short shorts and things like that. Um, we do have some rules that's all found in our handbook. So you can take a look at that to be ready to come here in, in the appropriate attire. Is there a hockey team you could play on? Absolutely a hockey team. We have a co-op with Brookfield and Bethel and, and we do pretty well in that league. Uh, can I take honors one year in college prep another year? Awesome question. Yes, you can. Whatever you take this year doesn't, doesn't mean you have to take the same thing next year. So if you take honors classes, all four core classes this year, next year, you could take all four college prep, whatever you decide is the most appropriate thing for you. And like I said before, talk to your counselors, talk to your parents, get a good idea as to what you should be doing. You know, don't just jump into it without doing your homework. Um, is college prep easier to start in freshman year or junior year? Uh, can't answer that one. It's, it's really not any easier to start any time. It, 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 choosing the right one for you is, is really the most important part of that. So if you feel you're up to the challenge of honors classes, then try honors classes. If you don't feel you're up to that challenge, then take college prep classes. And like I said, we can change in the first 10 days of school to make sure it's an appropriate fit. Um, Lots of questions here. When are class registrations going to open? We open that on 3-1, and it's open through most of March. How many electives can you take? Well, you can take electives kind of as many as, as you want, so long as it fits into your schedule. But freshman year, you have to take those four core classes, English, Math, Science, Social Studies. And we ask you to take PE and Health, so you really only have room for, for one or two electives freshman year. But as you take more classes and become a senior, you'll have a lot more room for electives. Um, Dr. Roy, someone asked, what is computer information technology? You want to chime in for that one? Sure. Uh, basically, you're just learning different aspects of computers. So it could be we offer classes in cybersecurity. We offer classes in programming. We offer classes in project management, in database design, in did I say networking? All kinds of different aspects of computers. So um, computer information technology, it all kind of, that's the big umbrella that all of those classes would fall under. Thank you. Next question, do you have guitar classes? Yes, we do. We actually have a modern rock band class and we have acoustic guitar classes. Um, if, if you're interested in that, I need to learn how to play the guitar better. So maybe I should take one of those classes. Next class, do honors classes get college credit? Um, most of the time, no. We do have a couple dual enrollment classes that are not AP classes that, that get credit for college, but just because you're taking an honors class does not necessarily mean that you're going to get college credit. Some do, a very limited one do. Um, do clubs give credit? No, clubs don't give credit. They're just um, help you expand yourself and, and be more a part of the school, school community. Um, will we have the same counselors all four years in high school? Excellent question. No, you will have your freshman counselor 
And those freshman counselors are divided up by team. So if you're on team one, all, everyone on team one has the same counselor. If you're on team five, everyone has the same counselor on team five. Once you leave freshman year, you go to a different counselor. So you only have a freshman counselor when you're a freshman, and then you get your new counselor sophomore year for sophomore, junior, and senior year. What time does school end? In a non-pandemic year, we get out at two o'clock. How many credits do you need for college? You need 25 credits to graduate Danbury High School to go to college if you want to. Um, I'm not gonna answer that one. Do you have to take a world language course? Yes, you do. What about transportation? Um, yeah, we'll send a bus to your house. What if you get lost? Good question. You probably will get lost. That's okay. Everyone gets lost the first couple of times in Denver High School. If you get lost, ask for help. Someone will get you to the right spot. I promise you there's no pool and there's no D5. Those two things do not exist. So if someone tells you go up to D5 and go past the pool, they're just messing with you. One thing regarding transportation too, Mr. Davison, is uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays, we have late buses, typically. We do. Typically, um, we have a late bus. Um, anybody who stays for our after-school program, for Twilight, for some of the clubs involved in the after-school program, and for tutoring, we have a bus that, that, that'll bring you home so that, you know, you don't have to walk home or your parents don't have to leave work early to come get you. So that's a really good opportunity to get that extra time in to do something, be it extra help, um, be it Twilight program, be it tutoring, or, or involvement with, with clubs. Um, National Honor Society, question mark. Yes, we have one. Um, there are grade requirements that you have to meet in order to, in order to get into the Honor Society and you, you'll have to apply for it, but definitely a cool opportunity. Um, what languages are available? So languages available to take courses, um, satisfy world language requirements are Spanish, French, Italian, and American Sign Language. Chinese. Oh, and Chinese. Those are the courses that we have that will satisfy your old language requirement. Um, you can take multiple years there. You don't have to stop after just one. A lot of colleges love to see two or three years in the same language. We also have Spanish for heritage speakers for students who have a Spanish speaking background at home. Right on. Thank you, Dr. Lowe. Um, world language classes, another question about that. When do we wake up and go home? Well, our school hours are 7.20 to two o'clock. I hope you'd get up a little bit before 7.20 so you can get here on time and don't leave early because two o'clock is when we're done. All right, I got time for one, two more questions. Um, can I take honors one year in college for another? Answer that one. Do you have an AV club? Um, we, we do. We yes. Have, yeah, we absolutely <laughs> do. That's something you can talk to Mr. Miller about. He, he's a really good person to talk to in that area. And are classes weighted differently? Yes, they are. So AP, honors, college prep. They all impact your, your grade point average or your GPA differently. So when we do that calculation, you get more weight for, for an honors class or an AP class than you would for a college prep class. But the, the, uh, the goal is to do as well as you can in the most challenging class you can to, to impact your GPAs. As and all of that information is in the student handbook, which is available on our website for you guys. Yeah, so any of the questions I didn't answer, go take a look at that student handbook. Go take a look at the uh, course of study guide. And if you can't find your answer in there, ask your school counselor or email one of us and we'll be glad to answer. Okay. So I think I took up all of my time. Thank you guys for the wonderful questions. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on 3-1 at our school fair. Thanks.